Are you guys ready for a rig tour? I'm about to show you guys how to make money with very little tools. Check it out. The trailer's a little overdone. But hey, it's what we got. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Taylor Welding and I'm about to give you a rig tour. Here she is. Let me get her unloaded and I'll give you a walk around. Ooh. All right, baby. <laughs> All right. Good. Put it everyone's back. Let's put the chop saw on the metal rack. Top saw here. We've got our plasma cutter generator, Arc Captain plasma cutter, and Arc Captain little welding machine that really runs 7018 really good. We've got our Harbor Freight air compressor. And the reason for this is I get calls from these apartment complexes all the time, and it's a pain in the butt to try to get close enough and then run your leads and, you know. You can only imagine. So I put them off all the time and they constantly call because there's not that many people uh, that are willing to work and come repair whatever they need, little handrails and stuff. It's really simple stuff and any, just about anybody can do it. It's a side hustle for anybody that's willing to get out and work and make a phone call. Call these apartment complexes and say, hey, hey, I'm a mobile welder. I've got a rig that'll fit in your apartment complex and I can fix anything you got. So this is a great side hustle idea and I'm not gonna be cheap. And even though the equipment I'm using is pretty inexpensive, I think this one job should pay for most of this stuff just in a few hours. So I'm gonna take you with me and show you about how easy it is. <laughs> Let's go, Jose. You got a driver's license? <laughs> First building, You'll, you'll see these handrails are pretty old, but all they wanted to do was keep somebody from falling, falling off. And if you jerk this over, it'll unplug out of that handrail and it's a hazard, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug this back in and there's not a lot to weld to. Like I told you before, we're kind of, we are, uh, you know, making a, silk purse out of a sow's ear to say. We're gonna put a piece of square tubing from here to here, and that should be enough to secure it. If it's not, we'll do a little more. Hey guys, just a quick tip. If you're gonna haul a generator around uh, on a vehicle or anything, turn the gas off. Uh, we, I've seen this a lot in the field. The crew will ride around with their generator fuel on, and that float will bounce up and down and it'll fill your oil reservoir up with gas. So just a tip, choke on. I brought my the refinder. As you can see kind of what I'm working with here. See how thin this square tubing is? It's, uh, <laughs> it's probably nothing to take to the fair, but that baby is solid. Check out the weld. Arc Captain uh, 93 amps, 7018, 332. Hey guys, I want to tell you something. A lot of this 
punch list stuff is bolts and little small stuff, but they're gonna pay you the same amount as if you were welding. So you know, this could be a good side hustle for you guys. I hope you give it a shot. If you do, let me know. Guys, there was a, a big gap right here because this is, this, it's rolled and it wasn't square and I cut it square. So all I did was weld the bead on the bottom and now I'm going to weld the bead on the top. The point is, don't try to get it all at one time. Rotten. Ah, it was kicking my butt. Handrails like welding paper mache. Sometimes you can downhill it just to get something in there. It is rotten. As soon as you touch it with this welding rod, it blows a hole in it. Alright. Alright guys, don't be scared to bend that welding rod. Alright guys. That is as good as I could do with that square tube. I had, every time I touch it, it would blow a <laughs> hole in it. But uh, that's just the nature of the beast. When you're welding on apartments and the handrails are junk, that's just part of it. But the 7018 uphill on some thin drunk <laughs> is tough, but it is strong and it'll last a long time. Look down this rail. You can see how, yeah. And remember, they just say use the plate. Yeah. Put in the middle. That's what, exactly what we're going to do. Yeah. I'm going to have to weld a little piece of plate on this and then come up because I just can't, I can't do, I can't leave that. I just, you know, somebody is going to come up here and say, why'd you do that? You know? I might say one of my favorite things to say to welders is, are you going to leave it like that? <laughs> so, we're going to take it over to the plasma cutter and cut us a little two and a quarter inch piece. Two and a half, you like two and a half? Yeah, two and a half. We'll weld that down first and then run this up. All right, guys, we're going to use our little Arc Captain Cut 50. And most of the time, you'd need to get some cutting goggles or something. But this new lens they sent me has a button you can push for shades. And I can go all the way down to shade five just by pushing that button. Now I can use my plasma cutter with it. I'm really impressed with this. That'll be plenty. the breaker. Guys, what was going on, the reason why I could only cut about this far and then quit, is throwing the breaker on the machine. All right, so the plasma cutter is too much for the generator. We're gonna try it one more time. It's working. It's a no-go. When all else fails, use a cutoff wheel.
Now you guys can see what the Ark Captain can do. It's got a little buckshot on it, but uh, it's pretty good. This is what I'm dealing with right here. That's why, I wonder why it kept walking around. Oh well. Hey everybody, we called it a day. Uh, we got here a little bit late. We got about a couple hours into the job. There's four or five more buildings to do. And this is my dad, and yeah. he's been holding the camera and helping out. Uh, what do you think about the setup, the, the little golf cart rig? It was just the perfect thing for working in tight spaces, working around cars and people, and uh, easy to maneuver. Equipment's real compact. And uh, it did really well, except for the little plasma cutter. I had no idea. Uh, out of all the things that I thought might have happened, I never thought the little generator would burn a 332-7018 down to the nub and not run a plasma, tab uh, plasma cutter hot enough to cut quarter inch plate. But it turns out it takes a lot of juice to run a plasma cutter. So that's a, you know, we're gonna have to figure out some other way to cut um, Maybe a small little oxygen settling rig. Mm -hmm. The problem is they go, those little bottles go so fast, you know, trying to get them filled, it's a pain in the butt. Plasma cutter really would have been the better solution. Um, but really, most of it you can do with a Metabo. Um, I, you know, there's really no need for a plasma cutter, uh, but it would have been very handy. But guys, I hope uh, somebody would take this and run with it. Go start calling apartment complexes. You can put this equipment in a little cart and just pull it around. You know, the golf cart was cool and it was really handy. Uh, a smaller trailer would have been nice pulling out of a uh, apartment complex with a big gooseneck's no fun. But let me know what you think. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.